What is pollination? By Bobby Kalman. What is pollen? Pollen is the yellow, white, or brown powder at the center of most flowers. Pollen is an important food for bees and some other animals. An important part of flowers. Pollen is a very important part of many flowers. It is in the part of a flower that plants need to make fruit, seeds, and new plants. To make new plants, pollen has to move from one flower part to another at the same kind of flower. Most flowers need pollinators to move their pollen. Pollinators are animals such as bees, wasps, butterflies, and other small animals that visit flowers. What is pollination? Some flowers have male and female parts. The stamen is the male part of the plant that makes pollen. Some flowers have one stamen and others have many. The pistil is the female part of the flower. It is made up of the style, the stigma, and the ovary. The stigma is the top part. It receives the pollen. The style is the pollen tube. The pollen travels down through the style to the ovary. The ovary contains ovules. How a plant grows. When pollen moves from a stamen to a stigma, pollination has taken place. After a flower is pollinated, its petals fall off. The ovaries of the flowers become fruit and the ovules become seeds. The fruit of the plant can be a vegetable or nut, as well as fruit. The fruit of the bean plant Below are the bean pods. The seeds are the beans inside of the pods. Types of pollination. Flowers cannot make seeds unless they are pollinated. There are three main types of pollination. Cross pollination, self pollination, and wind pollination. In cross pollination, Flowers need pollen from other flowers of the same species or type to land on their pistils. Animals such as insects and birds carry pollen from flower to flower. Self-pollination. During self-pollination, pollen moves from the stamen to the pistil of the same flower. Flowers that self-pollinate have male and female parts that are close together so the pollen can move easily from the stamen to the pistil. Sunflowers can self-pollinate or be cross-pollinated. Wind pollination. Sunflowers are pollinated by the wind. Wind sp sweeps pollen off those flowers and carries it to the other flowers. Wind pollinated flowers have millions of tiny pollen grains. These flowers seldom have nectar. Ragweed flowers are wind pollinated. Many people are very allergic to ragweed pollen. Do we need pollinators? Did you know that mo more than one third of the food you eat depends on pollinators? Pollinators have a ha make plants healthier so they can make a lot of food. There are thousands of kinds of pollinators. Most vegetables, fruits, and nuts come from plants that were pollinated by insects, birds, bats, and other small animals. All these foods, the foods shown on this page and many more come from plants that were pollinated by insects and other animals. Butterflies and moths. Butterflies and moths have long proboscises, or mouth parts, which can reach the nectar and pollen inside flowers. Butterflies like bright pink, blue, and purple flowers. 
Some moths are good pollinators of flowers that bloom at night. They look for pale flowers with strong scents. Wasps and flies. Wasps are mainly carnivores. Carnivores eat other animals. Wasps hunt small insects. Many insects live on plants. Wasps visit flowers to look for smaller insects that they can find there. They also drink flower nectar to give them the energy to hunt insects. While they hunt insects, wasps pollinate plants by carrying pollen on their body from flower to flower. Wasps also help nature by eating many insects that damage plants. Pretending to sting. Flies are very important pollinators because they are so many, there are so many of them. The most important fly pollinators are hoverflies and bee flies, but many other flies also visit flowers to feed on nectar. Hoverflies have yellow and black stripes, but they are not related to bees or wasps. The flies, which cannot sting, pretend to be stinging insects to keep other animals from eating them. Beetle pollinators. Beetles visit flowers for many reasons. Some eat the pollen and nectar in flowers, and some eat the whole flowers. Other beetles feed on small insects that visit flowers, smooth or hairy. Beetles that are smooth are not the best pollinators because pollen slides off their bodies. The best beetle pollinators are those with hairy bodies because the pollen sticks to their hair as they travel from flower to flower. Bird pollinators. There are more than 2,000 kinds of birds around the world that feed on nectar or on insects found in flowers. Birds are important pollinators. In North America, hummingbirds pollinate many kinds of wildflowers, especially those with, tr with trumpet shapes. Honey eaters are pollinators in Australia and on many islands in the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Honey creepers pollinate wildflowers in Mexico and South America. Lizards, bats, and possums. Animals that hunt insects often pollinate plants. Some lizards visit flowers to find insects to eat. When they visit a flower, pollen sticks to their body. Other animal pollinators include fruit bats and honey possums. Both eat nectar and pollen.